the John Jay report gives us two reasons why the conclusion that the abuses are related to homosexual priests is not true. Um, the first, they said that the increase in uh, the homosexual men in the priesthood, which happened in seminaries in the 1980s, doesn't correspond to an increase in the number of boys who were abused. So there were more boys, or a higher concentration of boys, they say, uh, that were abused in the 1970s. By the time you had the uh, homosexual men coming in in the 1980s into the seminaries, already uh, the uh, uh, percent of male victims was starting to decline. The second reason they give is uh, because the men who committed same-sex acts uh, may not have identified themselves as homosexual. They make this distinction between the type of acts a man did and what he calls himself. Uh, and so they say, quote, it's possible that although the victims of the priests were most often male, thus defining the acts as homosexual, the priest did not at any time recognize his identity as homosexual. And I'm going to look at these two claims uh, now, but I'm just going to say to you, both of them are emphatically false, and I'm going to uh, show you the evidence for that. 